everything is being placed on the computer. The taking, the stealing of customer data that is on the rise. If you've received spam email containing an e-card or a link to counterfeit pharmaceuticals, you've likely received spam from the Walladek botnet. Botnets are groupings of infected computers, usually under the control of an individual or an organization. Botnets are the criminal backbone of modern digital criminal. Waldeck is capable of sending up to 1.5 billion spam email messages a day. The challenge we were facing is how do we go about stopping a botnet of this magnitude? In essence, how do we go about disconnecting all of the robot computers from the bot herder? We looked at a traditional and well-established legal principle called the ex parte TRO. Ex parte meaning without notice to the other side, TRO meaning temporary restraining order. And the reason why we chose the, temp the ex parte TRO because it was of crucial importance that when we went out to sever, to cut the connections between the bot herder and his bots, had to be done without him knowing. The element of surprise was critical in this case in order to prevent the malicious actors from having the opportunity to do anything to counter these actions. So it was imperative for the operation that we get the ex parte TRO before the bot herder knew we were coming. I think it is a landmark case in the sense that we were able to finalize the case, close it out, so to speak, and we were able to uh, get the default judgment which we, uh, which we wanted. It's the first time from a, both a technical perspective and a civil legal perspective that we've been able to literally address and dismantle a botnet threat such as Waladek. The, the end game, of course, is with the default judgment. We will now own those domains. By doing so, we ensure that these domains will not be used for any criminal activities in the future, uh, effectively eliminating them uh, from the bot herders control. One of the early criticisms was that Microsoft's actions were a form of vigilantism and that they were supplanting federal law enforcement. And in this case, it's exactly the opposite. Our justice system is broken up into both civil and criminal processes, and Microsoft has every right to use civil legal process to protect themselves and their customers from harm. The legal process which we used uh, uh, is, is a process now that I think uh, any other particular company in the United States which has uh, a vested interest and is able to meet the legal requirements could do. We have over six million customers nationwide, four million for our high-speed data product. My department actually manages the safety of those customers. We help them secure their computers, their networks, any devices that they do want to put onto our network. Microsoft came to us and said, we have been tracking this bot. What we were really focused on in the beginning was really stopping the threat. And we've kind of pivoted a little bit to start figuring out how do we really protect customers at this point, and really working with ISPs domestically and CERT teams internationally to get them the information that they need to protect customers and clean customers. Microsoft provided us a list from the Waldeck takedown of IP addresses that were infected with the Waldeck virus. And we took that list contacted our customers, helped them download the Microsoft tool, cleaned up the infection, customer happy. We've been able to do something that has not been done before on a sustained scale. We've been able to keep the, the bad guys from operating this botnet, and we were able to do it in a really new way. We were able to use civil legal proceedings to help us protect our customers. And that's really what the excitement is for us, is that we're providing new tools for the community to use in order to protect our customers and citizens. ISPs, technology companies, need to get together, collaborate, share data, so we can keep all of our customers safe. And we feel confident now that we know it works, that there's now case law that has established that it's a viable uh, legal mechanism to utilize in these cases. So we're going to try it again. And uh, we're very excited about uh, what our next targets are going to be. And uh, you're going to hear more from us in the coming months.